how to defeat God. Hello, in this video I will be explaining my theory on how it would be possible to defeat God. Specifically, an all-powerful God, not an all-knowing God. I will have to make a few assumptions first, or else my strategy will not work. First, that God wants to have fun, but in quite a destructive way that results in lot of suffering for the human race. Basically, he would, have, uh, he would behave as humans do when they play a god game, and that this suffering would make it not worth living as long as he has us under his thumb. Second, that we are not just a byproduct of some other project. An example of that would be if God just wanted to mess, wanted to mess around with stars and planets, universe sandbox style, so he created a universe in which we happened to evolve. Because in such scenarios, even if his actions would cause suffering to us, he would not care whether we existed or not. And finally, third, that he wants us to be sapient and intelligent. Because destroying houses, toppling empires and instigating conflicts is far more fun than just killing stupid animals that don't stand a chance of resisting even the smallest of natural disasters. Now, because this god cannot be harmed since he is all-powerful, I have chosen a psychological angle of attack, angle of attack in the, in, instead of a physical one. The way we can defeat God, if all my assumptions are correct, is to commit mass suicide of our entire species. How will this defeat God, you ask? Well, he can't have fun if we are all dead, so if we, so if we all commit suicide, he will have to make a whole new sapient race. Or if he doesn't know how, or doesn't want to do that, he will have to wait until a new race evolves on its own, all on its own, which will take some time. But evil, won't God just terrorize the new species? Yes, dear viewer, but as you can remember, based on my assumptions, he wants us to be sapient, and so the new race will be sapient too. And since I am sapient, and I managed to think of this plan on how to defeat, the on how to defeat God, there are high chances that the new race will think of the same plan as me. And then they will kill themselves too. But evil, you ask again. How will the fact that all sapient races commit suicide every time they discover God and his evil ways result in his defeat? Well, dear viewer, here comes in the thing that will defeat him. Frustration and boredom. After all, if we kill ourselves, he can't have fun. And long times of boredom would take a toll on anybody's psyche. And then, after many, perhaps infinite, repetitions of the same futile endeavor of trying to create a race that will not kill itself, he will eventually give up, kill himself, or go insane from all the psychological torture we put him through. The first outcome, him giving up, might result in a, might result in a compromise or some treaty, treaty between God and the last sapient race alive, or maybe he will just do something else less destructive. Either way, this is the best options a uh, best option, as it guarantees that the universe will not suffer from a heat death as long as God has some investment in it. And it will probably also result in the survival of all sapient races that will evolve later. This outcome has the highest possible reward, but uh, that depends mostly on God's altitude to the remaining sapient races. The second outcome, him killing himself, will result in the preservation of the universe, but no more universes will be created as there is no one to create them. Nor will there be any way to combat entropy, so this option will result in the eventual heat death of the universe. But there will probably be enough time for a sapient race to evolve and explore the universe, which can be definitely be counted as a victory. The last outcome, him going insane, has a chance of resulting in the, destructions of, in the destruction of the universe, but we already established that it would be better to die than to live under God's thumb. If the universe survives, this will be more chaotic, but probably still hospitable. I would count this as a Pyrrhic victory. That concludes my theory on how to defeat God. Thank you for listening.